So we're here with uh, Sony. Here's the new Z90 camcorder. So who are you? Hello, <laughs> welcome to IBC. I would like to present you the new professional model PXWZ90 that we show uh, this year at IBC. It has dual SD card slot right here. That's really cool. I don't like the exactly. You can record in the same time on the both uh, SD card, or if not, you can pass from one card to another one. You can also record in 112 picture per second. It means that you can do the slow motion without stop. Full and, HD, right? Uh, in full HD only, absolutely. You can also, yeah, you can also do 960 picture per second, and it will be super slow motion uh, in full HD also, but with crop, uh, with a small crop inside. The particularity of this camcorder that you can see in uh, the S Log 3 and S Log 2 function inside the picture profile. You can see it directly here when I go to the setting. You can find it. Oh, sorry, when I go to the setting, you can find the different choice of here. You have S Log 2, S Log 3, and of course, Hybrid Log Gamma to do the instant as they are. What is the HLG, HLG1, HLG2, HLG3? This is the HLG? Yes, it's a hybrid log gamma who help you to shoot in different light condition and to have the better quality of the picture with more color, with more details. This is the HDR, instant HDR function that it can help you not uh, use always a big color grading uh, program and also to align a different, a different computer to have the same quality. But you have different versions of it. You have uh, four different LG HLGs there. So there's one that's more bright, less bright, or something yeah. like that? Exactly. You have a different uh, percentage Presets. of gray. Exactly. Yeah. And you can see, uh, the, in, for example, in monitor reference monitor, you can see directly which uh, hybrid log gamma uh, can be uh, useful for each uh, light. And uh, uh, this, this kind of uh, battery that, that you're using, is that the standard battery you have? Exactly, yes, it's a battery that uh, we use uh, for, for example, for the 70 NASA Concordor. Yeah. And uh, there's lineup. a lot of functionalities on this one. Uh, this is a one inch uh, CMOS Exmor sensor that has very nice bokeh, right? Absolutely, you're absolutely right. You have uh, not only the nice bokeh, but also less rolling shooter. And also, this uh, sensor allows you to shoot uh, uh, slow motion. And uh, you have also the possibility to do uh, with, the, with this um, sensor the real macro function. I would like to show you that uh, this product has a really fast this is a one of the points that uh, we would like to show how it's work really quickly. You because, can see for example, here, the, the camcorder I'm using, an X53, a yes. consumer camcorder, yeah. is it kind of like a contrast-based autofocus? Uh, it's a basic autofocus I have, mm -hmm. but this one has advanced, the best autofocus advanced. at Sony. Exactly. For today, we create absolutely the new function for autofocus. Because you, you can... Bit, if you can make a bouquet on the uh, on somebody, or maybe on the camera? Yes, of course. I, do, I would like to show you how it's yeah. worth this autofocus. And just to, to explain why we have this here, the red color. The red is color that you can see here, it's because this camcorder is, is, is with this MCX500 switcher. And you can do the real life production. It's been with uh, the SDI or HDMI output. You can connect your camcorder with uh, this remote, a remote and, is around and you can pile a different computer with all these functions, so you can make, with long you can make a kit with this and one, you can enter from this computer to our switcher and to do the small little live production and uh, with a tolly here. I would like to show you the and the red means red means that you are now in a big screen and uh, it's uh, our you picture. Are the main camera. Yes, exactly. We are the main camera. And if I change the setting, you can see here. You can see directly that it's passing green. Nice. And you are in preparation. And uh, how much is this solution there? What's the price for that kind of mixer? The mixer, sorry. 
1,500? No, to less than 2,500. Less than 2,500. So it's actually an affordable multi-camera system here. Yes. It's not very expensive. No, no, so, no. And this is compatible with 4K, 30? No, it's not 4K. It's only HD switcher. HD switcher, okay. Okay, we will see how our focus is going. It's really yeah. easy to understand. Let's try to focus on, on him. Yes, yeah? of course. <laughs> we will start... Maybe, can you go on the other side? Yeah. We will start the first uh, point. It's you can see in menu. In menu, you can choose different out of focus points. The first one is focus area. You can choose to go to center, to choose the zone of your focus, or to see the wire. I will prefer wire. You can also change the out of focus speed. If you need to be really fast to pass from one subject to other one or you need to be slow, this is a really flexible setting. You can see here that you can also track the subject, the depth and also the speed. So a lot of functionality to yes. customize the autofocus yeah. and you can always just Click on the face or click on the person. Exactly. You can do also the face detection and lock your focus on the person. Can we test with you uh, quickly? Yes. yes. Yeah. So let's try to have a very nice. Uh, tr let's let's try to track, um, uh, follow his face. Yes. 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 One second. Up. So this kind of menu is a new style for Sony. No, no, it's absolutely the same as you can find in other, in other one. Just a second, because I have a up, up. I initialize all because I don't know why, but it's uh, you have some function blocking, uh, and I prefer to start at the beginning. Okay. So that's like a uh, like new radio. And uh, okay, now you can see directly. Yeah. I activated the focus on the person. Let's try to move around. Yeah, but I need to fix. When you can see this red point, it's mean that Comcorder proposed to me that I block this person. You can see here, beam. And now I will follow him. He will, he will, he will move. I can move also. I can move my Comcorder and I will follow him. And this is very reliable. Yes. It's very important to have reliable autofocus, right? Yes, exactly. This and kind of what I would like also to show you, it's when you pass from different value of the focus, directly touch on your screen. When you touch your screen, you can see directly that I pass from my camera to the person here or to this person and it's really easy to pass from one to other one. Nice. Uh, it's out of focus hybrid function. This is uh, available for this three camcorder. Which is interesting to see that we have SDI output for Z90. Here you have only HDMI. Another difference between professional and consumer model is XLR output that you can see here. You can see two, two XLR and you can also, yes, you can put the microphone here, but you can also delay, delay this part and when you do it, you can see show here, the MI show connector. This connector will help you to put here the, the receiver and you can see, you can also record the audio in the same time when you record the video without XLR connection. It means you put the receiver here and you have uh, the stereo audio yeah. <laughs> yeah. This recording. Is very smart. This is very smart. This is really 
really, really yes. uh, so just last year at the IMC. Nice. And that's a point, a different point, was, uh, very important for broadcast, uh, broadcast the, 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 the shooting. Uh, is, uh, Z90 has um, two, 422 and MPEG codec that you can uh, purchase as an option and uh, it's 4250 megabits uh, in MXF in 10, yes exactly, in 10 bits and uh, NX80 it's a 420 in a bit recording inside in a this one supports um, uh, MPEG-2, 1080p, 422. Yes, I will show you the recording Only format. that one, but this one doesn't have that function. No, this, uh, you can see here that uh, inside of you have buried to the codec. You can see XAVC quite full HD, XAVC HD in 422, 10 bits. Here you have the optional function that are available for X70 and also for FS5. It's MPEG HD 422, 50 megabits, MPEG HD uh, 420, and AVC HD. All this uh, product is available, and this one it's an option that uh, you need to install on the computer. Nice. And, uh, uh, it supports uh, 60 and 100. You can also choose 100. Uh, you can have 100 megabits or uh, 60 megabits in 24 or 24 also. I will try this one and you have directly. It's, it's possible to reboot the camera in PAL or MTSC, right? Do you have both 25 and 30? You, you can see here, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, great. So, uh, what's the price for those two yeah, in Europe? The, 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 the uh, uh, approximately price uh, for Z90, it's uh, 2,900 euro. This NX80, it's 2,400 euro. And AX700, it's uh, 2,100 euro. Okay.